It is uh, 15 minutes to 12, February 8th, 2011. I'm just off of the summit of Ennis Peak, at about 9,300 feet. Looking over at Box Elder Peak, it's about 11.1. I'm panning over toward beautiful Mount Timpanogos. If you look at the clouds below, you would think there's no wind, but the wind on the Draper Ridge has been unbelievably fierce. I'm going to come over here and just take a little bit of a shot here of Lone Peak, our goal, this coming Saturday. I'm just a few, maybe a hundred yards down off the summit, but the wind has abated. So I'm stopping to take pictures of some of the unusual snowdrift formations that are right here next to me as I come down the ridge. Out there in the distance, Mount Timpanogos. Coming along, there's Mount Nebo in the far distance, Utah Lake. Traverse Ridge and the ridge that I'll be going down and on the other side of those frosted trees another portion of the ridge and then there's Draper and the Ochre Mountains. It's 12.29 or 12.30 I'm entering what's called the mahogany forest. Following my own tracks back, I'm not on the summer trail exactly, but not too far off. Lots of deep new snow up here, and that combined with drifted snow has made for some pretty interesting trail breaking. Dropping down, sure would be nice to mark this path in the summer with a couple of flags so we could just see where it actually is. I think in the winter time we come up here and kind of make our own way here and there hoping that we're on it, ducking down, going underneath some of these mountain mahogany trees, making my way down at least the wind isn't quite as bad coming down through here as it will be once we reach the other end of the forest where we pop out of the forest again and we're up on the exposed ridge. Ten minutes after entering the mahogany forest from the east end, I'm coming out the other side at the west end. Evidence of the fire that occurred in this canyon several years ago is still very much in evidence to see. This trail pretty much contours, it gains a little bit of altitude, goes up there toward a saddle which is somewhat hidden by the ridge above me. Then one makes the way up that long steep grade and comes out on the ridge up there just on the left hand side of the largest boulders you can see which are located just down and to the right of the summit that is in view. I call that waypoint rock number three. This is what I call the first major rock formation that we encounter after we have climbed to about 6,150 feet from the trailhead and made our way, generally speaking, south. I'll pan very smoothly up here and you can see the tracks that I laid down going up and coming down. 
they lead up there to another rock formation, which is probably difficult to see. It's on a minor ridge this side of the major ridge up there. From there you angle uh, southeast again and go up until you pick up the ridge that you can see up there and uh, take it on up until you veer off the ridge and drop down on the south side to enter the mahogany forest. This is a quick view of the Orson Smith trailhead in Draper, Utah. The address here is about 2000 east and about 126th south. The trail goes right behind the hut where the bathrooms are. And then switch back after switch back on up to a sign that says the Cherry Canyon Logging Trail. And then eventually, by hook or crook, a person winds up up there on the other side of that most prominent uh, ridge in the picture. Continues south to that first rock outcropping that I was talking about in the other clip. If I continue to swing on around from the parking lot, it gives us a nice view of uh, the Draper area and then the uh, Ochre Mountains. Some of the homes here are gigantic homes. Very nice clear day.